Wow. All right. This is Will Cooper. I'm at the 2017 IPCVR trade show and convention, and I'm here with Matt Booth. Matt, how you doing today? Well, Coop, I'm doing all right. How are you? Matt's a little mad at me because uh, the first take didn't record. So, uh, you know, you know I'm, uh, you're supposed to be an experienced member of the media, Coop. It was a junior move, but you're my dear friend, so we'll let it slide. I, I really appreciate that. All right, my first question to you, Matt. Junior. <clears throat> Thank you. Do we call this comeback? No, man. No, sir. Don't. Well, you could if you want. You call whatever you want. Don't call it a comeback. You don't have to. I can call it a comeback. You could, though. Do you prefer? I prefer. So, Matt, we're, uh, you are in a booth, actually. Um, and this is, I would say, the first time you were in your own booth, correct? Uh, at this trade show, yes. Correct. I remember the first trade show. You were in a booth within a booth. That's true. I, and actually, I, I, don't, I don't prefer the term booth. I prefer environment. So we are now standing within my environment, curated environment. And, and what an environment it is. Um, I'm actually been taken back to my childhood here because it is um, loaded with some nice uh, classic arcade games. You know, I just wanted to have a little fun with it and give people an environment that they could enjoy themselves, take a break. I mean, there's a lot, we're, we're handling business in here as they are all across the trade show floor, but they can take five minutes and enjoy. My dear friend Randy from R&R is here. We just played Missile Command or Missile Command, however you prefer to pronounce that. And I, I partaked in a game of Berserk, actually. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I thought, I thought it was appropriate. Perfect. Okay. But, no, we're, we're excited. Um, a couple of great projects you have going. Hit and Run and The Truth, uh, you're working with. Well, uh, one is called Hit and Run, and the other uh, originally was going to be called The Truth, and now we're uh, considering a name change. So that is undetermined at this time. So, in other words, there has to be a name change? There may. Okay. So, so what do we... What do we refer to it as? The false. The false. So we have hit and run. You're, yes. you're working with Robert Caldwell uh, at a Tobacco Lara Ventura. That is correct. And then we have this other cigar, which is a collaboration with you, Robert Caldwell, and A.J. Fernandez. All of these aforementioned points are correct and valid, sir, yes. Awesome, awesome. Uh, what, what kind of made you decide to work with Robert? Uh, Robert and I have been uh, very good friends for years. We see things, I believe, through a very similar lens, albeit as skewed as it may be. Uh, and and uh, both creatively and professionally, we gel very well. So I think it was a natural uh, fit. No, so to speak. Now, um, tell us a little about the cigars. So the first cigar I'll discuss is the Hit and Run, which is the collaboration between myself and Robert Caldwell, uh, manufactured at the William Ventura factory in the Dominican Republic. It is uh, comprised of Dominican tobaccos with an Indonesian binder and, and the wrapper from Ecuador. Very, very nice. Yeah. It's a delicious cigar. Uh, I would consider it a medium body smoke, great for the morning or afternoon, a lot of flavor, um, and uh, a respectable amount of power on the tail end of it, but it's not overbearingly strong. I agree. I smoked one, and I totally agree with that. And uh, the other cigar, which... The other cigar is a three-way collaborative effort that is going to be uh, brought to market by A.J. Fernandez. Robert Caldwell and myself is releasing in September uh, and is comprised of all Nicaraguan tobaccos done in a traditional box press format. Is that the first time you've had a box press cigar? Once upon a time, many moons ago, we had offered one of our cigars in box press it was called the Conjura, which translates... Oh, yes, that's right. Your second cigar. Yes. There you go. Yeah. So it's 2010. Was that one of the cigars that you kind of took off the radar? You know, it was, well, it was a very, it was a hyper-limited production. Right. And, of course, of course, uh, it was very well received. And then we, uh, you know, in true, you know, you, when people want something... That was your first limited one of those. Always. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. People wanted it, and we had no more, and that was that. I mean, a lot, so a lot of folks are asking, you know, when you obviously kind of took your hiatus, the question is with the Room 101 brands, what, what can we expect? Can we expect to see anything with the Room 101 brand name in terms of cigars? Uh, I, I would say absolutely. Uh, looking, you know, looking towards the future, uh, I'm, I'm in the process of developing a few projects uh, in the tobacco realm, and they're, at, they're in various stages of development at this time. Got it. Now, how about the, the two 
Caldwell collaborations that he's limited, one, one and done, or can we expect to see more? Uh, the hit and run is surely one and done. Uh, the project with AJ uh, at this time is also slated to be one and done. However, quite frankly, I'm not opposed to uh, looking at maybe a limited annual release with it. Now, in terms of folks who want to get these cigars, um, do they go to Caldwell and go to the Caldwell Re Retailers can shop Caldwell direct. Uh, he will be distributing both lines. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the, the hit and run, because it is shipping this week, uh, there are uh, a very good amount of, of retailers that have already picked up the line for their shops. So these will be hitting within the next two weeks. That's great. Now, what kind of intrigues me about hit and run, it's a Dominican blend. Have you worked, I mean, I know most of your stuff has come out of Honduras. Have you done anything out of the Dominican Republic before? Never. And, you know, my, you know, when, when Robert and I discussed possibly doing a, a passion project, like these collaborations truly are, uh, the thought immediately was to try to work with Henderson William at the, at the Ventura factory in, in, uh, in the DR. They do a good amount of product for Robert. I am a huge fan of the profiles uh, that come out of there the flavor profiles that come through through Robert's products, and I thought it was the perfect place to start. And you, you smoke Robert's stuff? I do. What's your favorite cigar of his? Well, I like the Eastern Standard, personally. Yeah, it's a great cigar. And, I mean, I, I do enjoy uh, a lot of the other stuff, but I keep coming back to that cigar. No, I, I, uh, I think it's a really great cigar as well. And it's, a, it's a great cigar for any time of the day. I agree. I agree. What are your impressions of the trade show so far? You know, I think I think attendance is, is down a bit. However, uh, the folks that are here are clearly here to do business, um, and it's been overall just kind of uh, heartwarming to see everybody from our community, retailers, consumers, uh, people from the industry side alike. You know, how, how, now how does it feel like this year, just kind of um, doing your own thing here? Feels phenomenal. It was unanticipated, you know, and and uh, you know I had, I had taken some time for myself. And very quickly realized that simply I love the business and the people too much to walk away forever. So, um, just feels good to be back. Yeah, there, there was uh, there was going to be a void here if you weren't here. Yeah. Did you say like a a, a a gap. A gap. A gap that should be filled. A chasm. A chasm. A chasm. Amazing. Thank you. Man. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, as long as I've been coming to the trade show, there's been Matt Booth at the trade show. And, and likewise with you, Coop. Yep. So I kind of feel like we grew up together, and I think we'll see many, many more trade shows. Matt, thanks for taking a few moments here. Cooper, thank you very much, man. Much respect. Appreciate it. Take care.